Hey guys, so how to restore a website from the Wayback Machine. Now you might be doing this for a number of reasons. The main one that I would typically be restoring a website from the Wayback Machine for would be if I was grabbing an expired domain name and I was looking to repurpose that website. And part of my process, now whether long term I turn this into a different money website or whether I turn it into a PBN I always make sure that I restore it as close to possible as it was on the Wayback Machine so that the, the website gets the old URL structure, it gets all the old links kicking back in. I can even build some links to it to power it up, maybe do some tier twos to existing links, that type of thing. The main thing is everyone used to try and get a freelancer to repurpose it from the Wayback Machine or you know use cost a pbn in the past and and that's something i've used but i've came across a tool called archivarix um and as you can see very simple and easy laid out website um and basically what you can do is restore from the wayback machine you can download a live website you can if you want to edit and manage websites you can use the archivarix cms so if you want to repurpose an old website and you don't want to go into the um, cPanel and edit all the files there, then you can use a CMS to do that using that particular option. They also do have a couple of other little bits here. Archivarix WordPress plugin, where it will import missing external images from the original sources or the web archive, um, or Archivarix blog, if you want to work out how to use their particular blogging system for maximum impact. Um, so, basically, if I wanted to download a live website, you simply go into domain name, and I could go and download any live website that's out there on the internet just now, including the likes of, you know, Neil Patel, for example. NeilPatel.com, just as an example, I'm not suggesting you do anything here. Um, you can pick your options, you know, pages, how many pages you want. There is a 200 um, file resource um, for uh, that you can pay for extra um, and page depth you can mess around with as well. You can put in a different server IP and you've got different options that are available here such as minify the CSS, JavaScript and all that kind of stuff. Some of this stuff's recommended um, and all that, and they can also make sure that you make a non-www website. You can keep old redirections. You can remove ads, remove trackers and analytics. Whole bunch of stuff here that they would recommend you do. You know these are the recommended options. Advanced options. So if you want to make sure that you get your SSL certificate, extract exact structured content. Um, and all of that kind of stuff, you can mess around with that. Um, and there's some embed options, and you basically put your email address in here and click start downloading, and it will download all the files for you. As simple as that, that's a live working website. Now, as I say, restore from Wayback Machine, you put the domain in and the timestamp from the Wayback Machine, which is very easy for you to get. You go to the Wayback Machine, get the right timestamp, and again, pick the options that you want. It's all very simple and easy to do. And obviously, this has got tutorials, how to recover a website, how much does it cost, test recovery, recommended options. So they've got a whole bunch of stuff here that I don't really need to go into in too much detail. Um, talking about their CMS integration, what they may be doing in future, um, and all of that kind of stuff. Um, and I've obviously got contacts and everything else there as well if you want to contact them via Facebook, um, Telegram, or email. Um, there is going to be a cost to this. You know, you get a free limit for 200 files. Um, but, you know, if it's a website that's got a 1,000 pages or whatever it's going to be, then it's $5 per 1,000 files. So it's very, very cheap. Um, you know, first example, a site containing 385 files. 
it will cost you 93 pence to, to get that website. Um, big site with 25,000 files. Um, full price for that would be £17.16. So they do accept payments in Bitcoin, web money, PayPal and Yandex money. And it's really that simple and easy. So if you want to build a whole bunch of expired domain names and get the, the old websites back or whatever it may be, then you can use Archiverix as one of your options. It works really well. And as I say, they do have a whole bunch of tutorial videos here that will show you exactly how it all works. And having tried and tested it, I was always skeptical that bits of the CSS would be missing or bits of, you know, images and everything else would be missing, but it works a treat um, and works very well. So in terms of expectation level, you can expect to get a decent looking website from the Wayback Machine or get, you know, onto their CMS if you want to be able to edit it and, you know, maybe use it as a money website or whatever. So that is how I would recommend that you publish a website from the Wayback Machine just now. It's the cheapest, lowest, most cost effective, quickest solution that there is available just now and it's called Archiverix. So have a look at it and uh, test it out.